this thing is really cool. <laughs> Love magnets. All right, for today's project, we have the SW Motec micro tank bag. And the mounting ring. And we're gonna mount the tank bag up here. They're pretty solid. Now we need to test and see if the gas cap can open, which it can. So we're good there. This is the only part that stays on the bike. Now we need to set up the other part so that this locks in place. Step one is feeding this through the mount. This is the release cord. So when you pull it, it comes undone. Once you feed that through, you're gonna to wanna to hook up a little clip. Like so. clips to the inside of the bag. It's actually magnetic, so it seats really well. It's a fidlock system. Step two is going to be mounting the base to the bottom of the bag using the four screws supplied. The Allen wrench is also supplied. Uh, you don't want to tighten the screws up all the way because you want it to be able to slide so that you can find the right position. So you can clip, clip it into place. See how it's adjustable. You also want to make sure you can turn the handlebars all the way without hitting anything. So pushing it all the way forward, it does hit the handlebars a bit. I'm just going to let the handlebars push it back. So all the way backwards seems to be where it wants to sit. So it looks like we're gonna have to sit it in the back position. Yeah, there it just touches, but I mean, how often are you at full lock? So now that we know it's gotta be in the back position, we'll release it and we'll tighten the bolts. All right, the final step, now that you got the bolts tightened, is to feed the release strap into the bag, make sure everything's straight. Then open up the bag. Pull all the excess through. And you don't want too much of this hanging out.
you want it fairly tight so that when you grab it, you just have a little finger loop to pull. So now we'll, you can see this, tighten this up a bit. I actually have this fed through here backwards, so let's fix that. There we go, now we can tighten it. Go ahead and clip it into the clip and pull it tight. Now, you just have a little loop hanging out in the front. Now that that's done, we will clip it on and see how it looks. There it is. Doesn't get much cleaner than that. No straps, only magnets. To release it, you just grab this hook, pull it out, lift it off. Easy peasy. All right, now that it's installed, here is a 360 view of what it looks like. It's on there pretty nice. It does overhang a little if you look at it from below. One last thing that I didn't show was the rain fly. <laughs> This thing is water resistant, but it is not waterproof. This is the rain pipe that came with it. You simply put it over the bag. Like so, pull the drawstrings tight. There's actually two drawstrings. There's one to tighten way down underneath the bag, kind of to the mounting point. And then a second one tights around the outside. It even has a little clear area in case you attach a map or something to this Molly panel. And one last feature that I forgot to talk about. It has this little loop to capture the zipper. And if you release that and unzip around, the entire thing expands up a bit. And you gain quite a bit of space. Here's the rain cover. More than enough space for gloves, a water bottle, a hat, a small toolkit, anything you need. And then when you don't need the space, you just zip it down. And then when you park the bike, you're good to go.